I've been on the government side of things and uh, what I've realized is that government to do its work properly, whether it's national or provincial or local, needs partners. So for the last 15 years I've been uh, involved in working with both government and other partners on how to put together partnerships so that you have a whole of society approach. We decided a few years ago to form the Western Cape Economic Development Partnership and its aim is to provide, it, it's, an, it's what we call an intermediary organization. It's not government, it's not a private sector lobby group, it's not a university think tank and it's not an NGO. So what is it? It's somewhere in the middle of those kind of forces and it's set up as a platform to help people collaborate on economic development issues whether it's reducing red tape, driving more investment, training economic leadership. I mean, there's a whole lot of things that one does to improve the performance of the economic delivery system. And that's our job. I think there could be far closer cooperation between national, provincial and local government. Um, there's a lot to be desired there. I think that business organizations tend to be relatively disjointed and disorganized and they need to be better organized and in turn have a closer working or practical strategic working relationship with government. I think we could improve that. I think we could be growing our knowledge economy a lot more and that means finding ways in which business, government um, and funders can work better with the universities so that there can be a knowledge transfer out of all the research that universities are involved in into business uh, so that we can promote innovation in business. So there's still a huge amount of work to be done. We've already set up in the last year a regional innovation network where we've got all the role players and stakeholders working together. So from a, a situation of a lack of cooperation between the big institutions in the innovation space, we've got everyone working together. So that's a step forward. We've secondly set up something called the Regional Communicators Forum. How do we get our message out there? Uh, people tell a whole lot of stories about Cape Town and the Western Cape that's not necessarily in sync. And if you look at how other cities and their regions do it, they tend to look at putting together a brand family and telling a whole lot of different stories but around the same narrative. And so we've done that. We've put together a regional communicators forum over the last year. We've managed to orchestrate that brand partnership. We've got 40 to 60 communicators from the mayor's office, the premier's office, Wesgro, the waterfront, Century City, the universities, etc., etc., cooperating and, and working together. So it's quite practical. It's, it's not big budget things. We don't have the money to do this sort of things. But I think. If you add a commitment to collaboration into everyone's mandate, in other words, do your job well and do it in collabor collaboration with other institutions, we'll add a lot of value into the economy.